Hey guys, welcome to Zoloblox. In this block tutorial, let's explore the Progress Pi block to create dynamic circular progress indicators in Gutenberg. A Progress Pi is a visual element that appears as a circular shape. Web designers use it to represent their business progress, product ratings, total query solved, service ratings, etc. The Progress Pi blocks provided by Zoloblox provides an exceptional layout consisting label, suffix, and prefix. With all that, your Progress Pi content can be made into unique layouts suitable for various websites. Diving into the editor will give you a real-time experience with this amazing block plugin. You can start off by inserting the block in your landing page. Gutenberg already made it easier to insert a block. You can type forward slash and the block name, then you can select from the floating block menu. Easy as pie. With that, the Progress Pie block welcomes you with a default appearance, consisting of a circle pie with progress counter and a label. When you want to customize the content, you can find all options on your right side, under block settings. Here, you have the option to change the progress percentage, simply the progress count. It's also possible to adjust the progress animation duration or delay from the option below that. If you want to make your progress pie thicker or thinner, you can do that by adjusting the percent size and fill size. These options can help you adjust the content size to your branding or landing page style. And if you want, you can turn off the label, suffix and prefix with these two buttons below. The suffix and prefix fields make this progress pie block more engaging because you can design unique content like total downloads, total sales, milestones, etc. with these. That also goes for the label option, in case you want to define your progress pie within the layout itself. And even after you fill out all the fields, you can still toggle the label and suffix prefix from the options. Okay now, what's next? Zolo blocks progress. Pie doesn't stop at the basic layout options. In case you want to make your content stand out, the Style tab is there for you. Inside the Style tab, you can easily adjust the pie circle size with a scroll bar. Also, you can have round edges for your progress pie with a button. What's more, you are free to add unique colors to your progress pie, both the inner circle and fill circle. But there's more. If you want, you can add more than one color in order to add gradient effects. Won't your audience love that? Our money is on the yes. You can also change the color for the inner circle with any single color shade. Isn't your progress pie already looking amazing? But if you want to go one more step beyond, you can customize the content part as well. The section has a couple of options where you can easily change the background color of the inner circle. In case you are looking for a custom font style, you can try tweaking the typography option. Typography is a combination of font customizations such as font family, size, weight, spacing, decoration, etc. So you can take your time to make the font awesome. Also, you can customize the color of the progress number, excluding suffix and prefix, because these two also have dedicated color options. Then what about their spacing? If you feel they are too close to the number, you can change the spacing from the option. Not to mention, you can also adjust the spacing between the number and label. Talking about the label, the content section has a label subsection that includes label typography and color options. If you want, you can tweak these options to personalize the label as well. And that's all the options you are getting to make stunning progress pie layouts for your landing page. Are you ready to explore more styles? feel free to go through the block detail page for ready patterns. If you wish, you can utilize these designs directly on your page. That's all for this video. Thanks for staying with Zoloblox. 
Please like and subscribe to this video and stay updated for more block tutorials. See you soon.